We bring in retired Marine Corps bomb tech who served in Afghanistan, and he's also a Fox News contributor. That's Joey Jones. And we also have former National Security Advisor to Vice President Pence and President Trump, uh, Chief of Staff uh, General Keith Kellogg. So, gentlemen, thank you very much for this. I appreciate it. Um, uh, Joey, it's a pleasure to meet you. I've heard a lot about you, and I appreciate your being here. What are your <laughs> Uh, opening thoughts about Veterans Day. Veterans Day is a fantastic holiday, and it's a fantastic holiday because it's an opportunity to remember that veterans are people that leave the military and become a part of our community. And I think what makes this day so special is we have these parades and celebrations in every little town across the country, and it reminds us how, how this big country can be a lot smaller sometimes. And, and that's what I love about it. Like, I'm here in my hometown right now. I don't live here, but I'm here because it's Veterans Day and we're celebrating. And I think that's the thing that we can enjoy about Veterans Day is we can hash out some of these political things, decisions that our military leaders make, things of that nature. But it's also an opportunity to support the guy who works at the hardware store, who mops the floors at the at the local elementary school or is the principal of the local high school. Men and women that have served this country and gone on to serve in their communities in all these different ways and say, why can't we have every veteran come home? be a part of a community and and continue to serve in that way and I think we can. Yeah, it's a great thought. We need to take care of the veterans when they come back. You were very badly wounded, but somehow you've come out of it with God's grace. So you are active. Is that you're doing this? You're helping uh fellow veterans uh get back into life, get back into business, get back into everything? That's that's the goal. And I think the general on here will will agree we're lucky. You know, we we are some of the most fortunate people in the world because we've seen behind the curtain and we understand just how fickle life is and just how precious it is. And the majority of veterans in this country, 20 million of them are doing well and doing good things because they appreciate the, the really for some of us second chance at life we've gotten because we've come too close to death. Mm. And, uh, and so I hate that the narrative of veterans is almost consumed with those among our ranks that have struggled and we are trying to help them out. But the vast majority of veterans are, are walking among us and are part of who we are as a country. And they're civilians again, and they're rebuilding their communities, and it's an amazing thing to see. All right, great stuff with their values. Um, Keith Kellogg, wonderful to see you again. Um, your thoughts on Veterans Day? And I want to get to McMaster's piece, which is a rough piece, but unfortunately, Afghanistan still looms over the horizon. Uh, Keith, what's it mean to you today? Yeah, well, you know, first of all, I want to tell Joey, thank you for what you've done in service and the sacrifice that you've given for nation, and you, and you really have. Look, one thing about veterans is they, they understand America because they've been in the arena. They're the ones who have gone to fight in foreign lands. You know, they've, they've fought the barbarians out there. They've kept them at the gate away from America. Every time a veteran deploys or a military member deploys, they carry the American flag on their shoulder. They're proud of what they've done, and it's a very small community. And I think America is lucky to have the veterans that are out there. And I wish they would turn to them even more, either as school te teachers or advocates or where they go into political life, because they kind of understand what the American ideal really is. Look, we understand we've got flaws. We've got it. It's a flawed history, but it's a great history. And, when, and veterans are very proud to be Americans. And I think the American public should key off the way Americans veterans feel about their country, which is a lot of pride and honor and, uh, and understanding each veteran who they are, what they are, and what they bring to the game. You, you know, Keith, it, it just occurs to me, I mean, our service in the, in the White House and so forth, not yeah. enough Americans have enough contact with people who are in <laughs> right. or were in the military. Because, yeah. you know, and Joey, I say this to you as well, look, um, the values, the hard work, you know, military people, I don't know, they have a certain way about them that others may not have, but they set great examples. And I wish even more Americans, uh, you know, we don't have the draft anymore, but I wish more Americans would come in contact with military people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you know, I, I, I wish they would last. too, because they bring so much to it. Yeah, they really do. All right, Keith, uh, the hardest, harder one to chew is yep. McMaster's piece in the journal today. Honor veterans yeah. by having the will to win a war. He says, we didn't have the will to win the war. He blames three presidents, past uh, and present. And um, it was a catastrophe. 
it has damaged our credibility. Um, the Biden response, of course, has been just awful. There's been nothing. Americans are still left in mm -hmm. Afghanistan, as has been reported. Uh, our allies and friends still there. Your quick thoughts on this story, because it does unfortunately hang over today's, you know, Decoration Day celebration. Yeah, and it's kind of a Debbie Downer kind of day for McMaster to say that. But look, here's what Colin Powell had it right. And we used to stress that in the White House. When Colin Powell talked about his power doctrine, you know, when, when you fight, you fight to win. You fight with overwhelming force. You bring the American people with you. You have a desire, designed end state, and, and that's the, how you fight a war going forward. We forgot all of those. We fought, forgot every lesson we learned from the first Gulf War or the invasion of Panama, where you fight to win. Again, you fight with overwhelming force. You bring the American people with you and have, have a known end state. We've just forgotten that, and it's a huge mistake. But for HR to say that on Veterans Day, why don't we just celebrate our veterans? Mm. You know, it's a very small community. There's only 20 million of us. There's only 1% of the American people actually serve. Let's be very proud of America today, and let's uh, talk about the, the downside later on, maybe not today. Well, all right. Uh, Joey, though, I want to just catch you on this. I think, and I've heard this from veterans, and I've heard this from people serving in the military, that the Afghanis, Afghanistan story, and of course its awful ending, was um, demoralizing to people in the military and people who have served in the military. Um, you have a thought on that? If you don't have a thought, we can dodge the whole thing. It's okay, but I got you here. Uh, what do you think about that? No, I mean, first of all, we have we have 13 uh, Marines, one sailor, and one one yeah, soldier, awesome. I believe it was. Uh, and, you know, we're going to celebrate them in May now, and I wish that weren't the case. And so I don't mind anyone I ever can't. not letting us forget that what happened in Afghanistan should never happen again. And so I understand that of it. I don't think we fought a 20-year war. I think we fought 10 two-year wars because in this country, politicians learned really quickly the defense strategy can become a stump speech and a way to get elected in midterms for presidential elections. And that's unfortunate. And honestly, that responsibility falls back on us, the American people, to not let them treat us that way and not let them treat our defense policy that way. It isn't enough to sit up there and chant, bring our troops home. It isn't enough to sit up there and chant, uh, go kill them all. It, we have to get more than that as far as answers and explanation from our leaders before we go out and, and deploy troops and, and start a war or, more importantly, in our case, try to finish a war. All right. Well said. Listen, fellas, I appreciate it very, very much. Joey Jones, thank you so much. Keith Kellogg, always great to see you.